Hey guys, so today I'm doing an update on my enclosure expansion. Uh, last video I made, I thought this this was pretty well done, except for some plants. And then I noticed online uh, the next day that some guy had a, a great big lot of reptile uh, supplies and terrarium and everything. And it was all for a good price, so... I messaged him, asked him if he would split it up so I uh, I could just get the, uh, the plants and whatnot. He really wanted to move it, so he gave me an even better price than he had posted it for. Um, so I just took it all. As you can see, uh, the terrarium on the right, uh, that's now... A larger terrarium that was an 18 by 18 by 18 that was an 18 by 18 by 24 um, what else can I say he uh, he also gave me that waterfall in the same terrarium and the 18 inch uh, canopy exoteric canopy there another thing you'll notice is I used to have this uh, this humidifier on the floor but I uh, I put up a shelf and uh, and shortened up all the PVC piping uh, down towards the, uh, the enclosure for two reasons one the PVC pipe was way too heavy and uh, the other reason was because it's basically a mist fog uh, it was there was a lot of condensation in the uh, PVC pipes and then it was dripping back down into the uh, humidifier, the fogger. Um, and if it's above a certain level in the base, base of the uh, humidifier, then it just won't work. And so I uh, said, well, I should do it. the only way I can think of, uh, of stopping that or, or helping it out quite a bit is to put it above the pipe so next to nothing is is uh dripping down into the humidifier so i put it above above the tank just a few pieces of pvc pipe now uh seems to work out really well uh the shelf holds you know my cricket keeper my crickets pretty much everything i need to get to uh quickly I also got a, I don't know if you can see them, but a few little minnows in there now. Uh, whether it's just for looks or, you know, she may much on them, but they're only 20 cents a piece, so not too weird about it. Uh, may add a few more in there. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty easy, so uh, yeah. Another thing I did was I picked up this uh, dual dual hood for the uh, for the heat lamp and nighttime lamp. Um, just kept everything a lot closer, just with the uh, the the great stuff background. I didn't want to have to deal with uh, it melting or or anything of, of of that sort. So I I picked this up. It was you know. Uh, half price, if not better, at uh, at PetSmart. So I grabbed it while I could. Another thing I uh, I did was uh, I put all the lights on timers. I didn't think uh, it was that big of a deal before to do it until I got the timers. So much easier uh, now. So. I definitely recommend putting your lights on timers. Not only is it easier for you, then everything's always the same for uh, for whatever reptile uh, you have or animal, really. I don't know if you can see here, but there's there's Ray in the background. I guess I got to clean this tank pretty soon. So, anyways. Uh, that's pretty much my video. I just wanted to highlight everything. 
There's a lot of coverage now. Uh, about the only thing I may have left to do is uh, maybe get a few more plants. It's pretty pretty thick now, so might not be too bad. But I really like these uh, jungle vines, but I can't seem to find them locally anywhere. So uh, uh, hopefully I can source those pretty soon. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my video. And there it is.